right? And for example, column. This is my column. So, the column means this is my variable. Since as we are saying, column means. Another leg, I guess. Can you unmute? Can you yeah, mute, please mute yourself, everyone? Please mute yourself. And in table, right? This is my uh, column. Column means this is variable. This is my sheet one. For example, uh, student. So student, my data set. This is my data set name. And here, this is my like a uh, rows, right? One, two, three, whatever. My name is like a A, A, and B, C, whatever. And so this is my rows, right? So here we are saying rows means observation. So you can see in terminology I have explained here. Data set means table name and uh, like a file name we can say and column means variable and Another part is rows means observation. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you can see I have opened again the log part, right? In log part, they have explained the uh, 19 observation means that 19 rows, right? And can you see work? Work. Left side, this is my library, this library. I'm scrolling here. And demong, data set name. Data set name means file name, right? Observation, 19 observation means I have 19 rows in my data set. Data set, demong data set. And five variable. Variable means column. So again, I'm repeating here that they have explained the data set name is demong and 19 observation and five variable and where it is located that is in a work library right i will open the work library you can see the data set name is demong so in demong so according to log 19 observation should be there and five variable should be there right so can you see one two three four five my five column is there column means variable and here you can see 1 to 19. This is my observation. And data set name is Demong. Right? So this is the basic terminology. Whatever we are using in SAS. SAS, like a, we are saying more, mostly, like, a, okay, I want to create this data set. I want to create this Demong data set. I want this, 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 this data set. Okay. How many variable in this data set? In this data set is five variable and 19 observation, right? Are you getting my point? Can anyone tell in this data set how many variable and observation is there? And what is data set name? There are four variables and okay. seven observation. Okay. And data set name? Student one. Great. So this way, like a, uh, this is the basic use of this Explorer library. And result in the, and then result in the and output in the, here you can see the output. Okay, so now I'm coming with like a understanding of SAS syntax. Okay, in SAS programming, we are like a you know, providing the variable name like a name that is the alphabetic right character. So in SAS, we have two kind of data set. One is the numeric, another is character, right? So numeric means that can be any value, right? Character that can be alphabetic. Also, like a special character that will be part of character. Okay, so here you can see. So this is the basic uh, like a programming um, uh, understanding. We can write SAS program two way in SAS. Okay, one is the data by the data step. 
okay another is proc step means data step always will start with keyword data okay that keyword like uh, this is the one so always you have to end with semicolon and run so data step will start with data end with run you have to remember two things that program data step means data will start that data step will start keyword data and end with run another that proc step right so we can i told you pro, program we can write two way one way like a pro, we can start with data another we can start with proc okay so like a why like a, this two kind of uh, the program we are writing okay in data step like i told you we have to start with data end with run and always you have to write down the semicolon okay so here if you want to do any data modification and like uh, you want to apply any functions and all that so that time you can do modification in data step step means this program one program means one step so this is start with keyword data so it means this is data step and started with data and ended with run so because of that this is data step okay whenever i'm talking about the proc step so it will it will it will be start with proc keyword and end with run or quit okay so here again you have to remember one thing so how we do how like uh, if you want to understand this is my uh, data step or proc step so you have to check this word this is my data end with run and this is my proc means proc step and end with run is it clear yes can anyone confirm yes okay so like as i told you like in in, in sas we are writing two with program with uh, like a basic building block is two that data step and proc step so like a data step right so in one step we can write the multiple statement okay so like a multiple statement means you, can you see this is my keyword in blue color this is my keyword and with semicolon another keyword this is on uh, like a set keyword and with this semicolon this is the one statement so in one step you can write the multiple statement okay and so you can see here this is my data statement end with semicolon this is my set statement end with semicolon this is my run statement end with semicolon and if i'll talk about the complete program so it is me it means this is my one data step but here if you want to check the statement how many statement is there one two and three right and this is my proc st step in step in proc step i have written the two statement one proc another is run right is it clear can anyone confirm yes ma'am okay so just i am writing the one program okay can anyone tell how many uh, like um uh, what is the uh, this is the data step or proc step one question okay so can anyone confirm how uh, this is the data step or proc step data step okay why data step it starts with data ends with run okay great and next question can you tell me how many statement is there can anyone confirm how many statement is there okay i am repeating this part statement always start with keyword and with semicolon keyword and semicolon right keyword and semicolon if i ask how many statement in this um, step 1 2 3 can you see data start with data and with semicolon set start with set but end with semicolon second and run third right 
so can anyone tell about this how many statement is there hello am i audible yes yes, yes. good may i know your name who said for okay great correct answer so i'm deleting this part so first of all we will see how we can create the data set in sas okay so as i told you we can write the program two way proc step and data step okay so here we are creating the data set okay so uh, always we have to write the data because this is the basic rule right and i am creating the data set name is patient okay and then this is one statement another is input so input what we are doing in input input always we are writing the variables name variables means are columns right so data is are two type one is a character another is a numeric so here you have to remember two thing like a because like a column name i want to give the column name right so i am just writing the patient id so patient id i have written in short so patient id will be like a 1 2 3 4 5 6 right this numeric right right and city. yes city can be like a it cannot be 1 2 3 right it will be like a mumbai bangalore right chennai right and pune so here you have to remember one thing whenever you are creating any character variable that time you have to mention the dollar sign okay and that if numeric variable is there that time we are not mentioning the dollar sign if this is character variable that time we are writing we are giving the dollar sign right and post that i am creating the third variable invoice id okay so again i am writing in short form invoice invoice id and semicolon because this is statement ended here okay so in this file name will be patient and that variable name will be three like a, a variable name will be patient id city and invoice id so how many variable will be there one two and three so this is my numeric variable and this is my character variable why it is character because here i am writing the dollar sign and invoice i invoice id this is again this is my character sorry this is my numeric variable so here after that we just i want to give the value to this va these variable right so here we can write the data lines or we can write the cards but both uh, same time we cannot write so we we can write uh, here i am writing the data lines okay so data lines i mean patient id 1 2 3 city i am giving the bangalore okay and invoice id i am giving the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay? and here another patient id 2 3 4 5 and city mumbai i am giving okay and then invoice id 3 that 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 okay again another value i am giving 4 5 6 and then chennai okay and that value i am giving any numeric value like a 2 3 four, five, six, seven. and pose that i am giving the another one more value that is like a uh, 7 8 9 again mumbai 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and pose that i am just putting the semicolon and run here you have to remember we have to give the semicolon in next line okay can you see here again i am repeating this program this is my data step program so the uh, the data set name is patient input in input we are defining the variable name and like a one variable 
two variable on three variable out of three variable this is my character variable can you see patient id will be 123 city will be bangalore invoice id will be 123456 okay and that is mentioned in data line post that one what whenever we have completed the complete data line and semicolon end with run so what i explained you earlier first of all you have to select this program and submit okay this is invoice id okay so input in input like i have written the patient id in short okay this is invoice id theek hai so in um, this uh, like uh, is it correct so invoice id i have given like a patient id this is 1 2 3 4 7 bangalore invoice id 1 2 3 this is my column inside of this column i have given this value okay so you can see here i have selected this program post that i click on submit okay we'll check the log in submit you can see i have what uh, i have created patient right this is patient data set where it is located this is my work library okay so you can see here this is my library where folder is work library right data set name is patient how many observation four observation right and three variable you can see this is observation 1 2 3 4 4 observation three variable 1 2 and three variable right so I, i i will show you that this data in work library so i click for if you want to check the library you have to click on this icon and post that in work right what is the data set name is patient right so same data i have created patient id 1 2 3 city bangalore invoice id 1 2 3 4 5 right so this day, in this way we can create the data set in sas if you want to create any data set with proc id proc step no we cannot create any data step uh, like a data set by the proc step we have to write down the data step so again i am explaining this part this is my data set name patient so you can see work dot patient right and variable patient id and city city you can see this is the character invoice id here for example i have written the value in mix like a bangalore 1 2 3 so how we will understand this is my character or numeric variable right so in that cases you have to double click on this right so here you can see the type this is the column attribute so type can you see this type is patient id and then type is numeric for city right city this is my character right can anyone confirm for invoice id someone ask one question related to invoice ids right so can that person told me to explain me this is character or numeric variable yes anyone can explain me this part so this is character or numeric it's numeric because there is no dollar sign and it's also showing the type is numeric great so uh, this is step is clear for everyone yes ma'am okay so this way like uh, we can create the program in like uh, if you want to create any data set this way you can create the data set for example right so i have explained earlier this is a temporary uh, like a permanent library self help library right so here you can see multiple data is there if you want to do practice and if you don't have data with you so you can use this data from self help library okay so these are the different different data suppose you have that data but you don't know like a, 
you know the creation part but if you want to read this data from different library right so how we can read right so for that like uh, you have to write the data data set name suppose i want to give the data set name is students and and i want to read uh, the one data from sasl library i will check like uh, for example uh, here i want to read this uh, uh, read this uh, data here right so for that like i will use the set statement right why i'm telling the statement because they start with keyword and end with semicolon so right and that sas help library sas help library because i am reading this data from sas help for your remembrance you can do one thing left side you are writing the library name and dot and post that data set name so i am reading the which data here right so i am writing the air data and this here and post that i am just putting the semicolon because my statement is completed here post that run so why i have written this program if i want to read the data from different library that time we are using the set statement data this is keyword data and end with semicolon set a set i am reading this data from another library for example why how you will understand this is i have written left side this is my library name and dot this is my library name and dot post that right side i am writing the data set name right so from this folder i am reading this data here from sas help library i am reading the air data and semicolon and post that i am ending my program with run statement right so i will select and i will click on submit button and post that i will check the log so in log you can see um, here that work library right so this is my folder data set name is student and 144 observation right means 144 that lines right and two variable two variable variables means two column so we'll show you that part also like in work library right so i will click on this icon and then there's a work library my data set name is student right so how many observation is there in log this is showing the 144 right so we'll check same thing this is the 144 how many variable is there there is a two variable one is a date another is air okay and then data set name is work dot student so is it uh, like uh, if you want to read any data so you you will use set statement for that reading the data suppose i want to use same data that student data for i want to create another data set that is the data student 1 okay student 1 so i want to read same data same data means this data where it is located in work library so i can write two way work dot student or data student one and set and student and run so i have written the same program here two time here i have added the work folder like a work library here i have not added the work library so work library is my temporary library so if i am not writing the library name right it will execute the successfully so there's a two option you can write the library name otherwise if you don't want to write the library name this is completely up to you so for li work library you can write or you can not write this is completely up to you okay so i will show you that part you can see if i have written in this way so it will execute successfully right same if i have written the without library name it will execute it successfully 
right so i want to tell one thing whenever you are reading the data from another library that time you have to write down the library name and data set name in work library this is completely up to you if you want to write the work library name that you can write if you don't want to write the library name so this is completely up to you and it will ex both work dot and without work dot it will execute successfully right is it clear for everyone can anyone confirm yes ma'am yes, ma okay can anyone um, tell me the difference between three program this one and this is student student one and this student two i am writing is there any difference can anyone tell what is difference between these three program in the first one the library name is sas help in the second one the library uh, name is work and in the third one like there's no need of library name because it's work so if if no name also it's okay yeah correct okay next uh, i am going to explain the program that is how we can access the data from different sources right like uh, for example i have the csv file i have the excel file i have the this excel live uh, like uh, excel file right or um, like uh, another like i already explained that part i like um, tabular file and this is a different different format if you want to read uh, that uh, if you want to access that data in your library so how in your your sas uh, window okay so how you can uh, access that data so here like i want to explain that uh, i will i will show you that data uh, one file that is a csv file so do you have any idea how we can uh, identify this is my csv file or excel file and all that anyone can tell so here that class data is there can anyone tell this is my like a uh, which uh, file is this this is a csv file excel file and all that can anyone tell okay hello okay check the properties okay so also that you can go through by the property that is good way also like uh, we can check in this this is five mentioned yes so in two way we can check like uh, that is a type option by the type and um, this is and also you can click on property you can check the property of this uh, file right so here you can see this is my csv file okay i will open this csv file so mm, okay so i have created one csv well, this is uh, i have created one csv file here you can see the how many how many variable that four right name patient id dose and its status and that how many observation this is the eight observation this one two three Four, five, six, seven, seven observation and one. Sorry, four. Four uh, variables. Okay. So, like, uh, this is my CSV file. So, how we can access this data in my SAS folder, like, uh, or SAS um, software, right? So, for that, like, uh, I will tell you one thing. For that, we are writing the program that is the proc import program. means we are importing that file in our sas window so for that you have to write the proc import data file is equal to is equal to you have to do like a double quotation okay and post that you have to go on that file that file um, click on this file click on that property and you have to copy these property location part right and copy and paste here suppose that you can see this is the backward slash right 
so again you have to apply the backward slash and you have to write down the file name file name is my class class plus which extension this this was my csv it was my csv file okay so here you can see again i am repeating what i have done i have written the proc import data file this is syntax you have to remember post that is equal to sign and then double quotation because you are giving the path of file which file this class file and with extension this is my extension so this is my folder path and this is class is my file name and you have to write with extension okay so uh, chetan you said uh, like a uh, we ha i i should speak in both language right hindi and english so few can candidate they don't know hindi part so that's why i'm explaining in completely in english okay ma'am thank you so or uh, like a proc import data file path and this path this is the folder path and this one is my uh, file name and this is extension of file right so how i copied i clicked on the file and i copy the properties and properties i have copied this path and i close the double quotation post that e ms database management system so for that you have to write the extension which extension you are reading csv right csv so this is the extension and out out means i want to save this data in my you know what uh, like i want to save the data set name in uh, sas window so i want to give the name of like a day one so it will save as a day one in my sas which library work library and post that semicolon And run. Again, I am repeating this program. So for that proc import, I have to write the proc import data file and path. Path for for path, you have to click on the file link. Uh, sorry, file, and you have to check the property and you have to copy the location path from the property and post that. Write down the data set name with extension. and post that this is my extension same extension will be uh, for um, say, uh, dbms and post that out out means you want to give the name of your data set this is the class data set but i want to save in my sas as a day one so in this way we can write the proc import program okay so i'm i'm just um, um, sub selected this program and post that click on submit you can see here so how many observation seven observation four variable and data set name is day one where it is located in work file uh, work library so you can see here i have written the data set was class but i want to save as a day one so it is by default it is saved as a day one where in work library we will see i clicked again on explorer and clicked on work library here day one right see same, same data i have i am access, accessing this data in sas it was csv file seven observation four variable and in work library as a day day one right so you can see here right so again i am just telling this part because here extension can be different it can be excel file it can be csv file it can be a, a tabular file okay so for, for this i will give you one more example is it clear for everyone what i explain in proc import hello yes ma'am okay so excel library right excel file we will read we will see the excel file uh, so here you can see demong file is there 
okay so here this is big data multiple variable is there and multiple observation so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 variable or we'll see Mm -hmm. So this is the 1229 observation. Okay. So this is again the Excel file. Same way. I clicked on uh, property. Uh, I clicked on file and check the properties and we will copy this location path right location part that is the sas demo folder my file name is demong and that extension will be excelis right same way i have written another program proc import data file and path this is my folder path demong is my data set name and this is the extension Excel S X, right? ABMS, same extension. I have given the name of D data and run. You can see here, both program is same in proc import, right? That extension is different, right? So same way, if you have different extension, like a different file is there, so you have to write the proc import syntax will be same. You have to change your file name and path and you have to change the extension name and same extension will be applied on DBMS. So whatever DBMS equal to, like if it is CSP, then you have to write the CSP. Here you can see same way. This is my like Excel file, right? So for that, we have written the um, that Excel SX and DVMS same way, right? So I will select this program again, I, I will select and then submit the program. So you can see here. So D data by default, it is um, available. So I will write down the another data name. Mm, Excel data. Ma'am, will it always get saved in work library or we can save in any other library as well? Yes, we can save in another library also. So I will tell okay. you after this, like how we can create the new library. Okay. So uh, wait. This file I need to close first. Post that. Hmm. So you can see here. Twenty variable and one thousand two hundred thirty seven observation. And in work library. Excel data, right? So you can see this is data. And this is like a observation right so one thing you ask about if you want to create a like a if uh, like a, is it possible we can create another library right so yes this is the sas is temporary library once you will uh, close your like uh, this window sas window your data will be deleted automatically okay for that we need to create a, another library. For library, you can save your data. For example, I want to create one library, okay? So for that, you have to write the live name, okay? So live name and post that, you have to give the library name. For example, I want to give the uh, pinnacle, okay? And then I want to give the path where I need to uh, save this data. So for that, I have given the demo folder. 
same. So here uh, in live name, so always have to write that because I want to assign the new library. Library name is clinical. And then this is the path, okay? So can you see clinical was successfully assigned, okay? So here, okay, uh, earlier clinical was not there, right? Can you see? This is this library. Yes, yes, ma'am. So it is my library. If I want to save any data in clinical library, right? For example, I have created this Excel data and I want to save this data in this library, right? So what I will do, I will write down the data, data clinical dot. I want to apply the same data set name or different. For example, I want to apply the day one, okay? So this is library, the data will be saved in clinical library as a day one, right? Which data I want to read? Set a statement, right? Which data? The data is like a this one, Excel data. And run, okay? So my data will be saved in clinical library. You can see this observation, 1237 observation 20 variable and library name is clinical and data set name is day one we'll see so i clicked on that you can see this is library right clinical library data is save as a day one right so that will be save as a permanent data if i will walk in uh, walk library and if I have not saved this data, then by default, it will go uh, like uh, once you close your um, SAS, it will delete it. So if you want to save your data in permanent library, for that, what you have to do? First of all, you have to create the library. Okay. Create the library. Post that. Save the data. Created library. Right? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. In clock it put the step at the end you are not given semicolon but in lift name statement you are given semicolon so is it okay if we add a semicolon in clock actually i um, can you can you uh, repeat because uh, i your voice is not clear so uh, yeah hello yes please. yeah in prop import data file statement at the end, mm -hmm. you have not written semicolon, right? Yes, yes, yes. As uh, but uh, in lib name statement, you have written semicolon at the end. Uh, yes, yes. So is it okay if we add semicolon in uh, data okay. input step? Will it okay. So, yeah. so if you apply the semicolon here, it will not work. It will give the error because in SAS, right? In any program, uh, like uh, they have given the few um, points, right? For example, you have to write down the program in same way, right? For example, the syntax is prop import data file. So this is like a, you have to remember DBMS, like a, you said the semicolon. So in each and every program, you have to remember like a, in proc import, you have to give the semicolon at the end. In lib name, right? So you have given, you observed very well. Huh? One thing you have asked very good question, okay? Because no one asked this question, right? So here I will tell you one thing. 
that whenever SAS in SAS, uh, like I told you uh, first in the program is a step part in a step you can write the multiple statement. Okay. So multiple statement pose that like a, this is the one step, right? So a statement is two kind. Statement is two type. We can say two type. So here, you can see in every uh, program, right? Data set, this is the one statement, run, right? And data set run, even in proc, right? Date proc and then proc import post that at the end we are writing that this statement close here this is the one statement okay and here i have written only one line right so this is my two kind of uh, statement we can say that one line of the statement he always says the global statement global statement means it can that Syntax, we cannot, syntax means program. We can uh, say the syntax, program or code, all are same. So for example, if I want to write this program as a, like a, this is one liner program, right? So that global statement always used as a one line. So this is one global statement, that's why this is one liner. So it is not possible to cover each and everything in um, one demo session, right? That's why I have, uh, she asked the question related to library, so I have created the library. But I didn't explain that in detail about the different kind of statement. Statement, like here, this is the local statement we can say. This, like a one statement and two statement, right? Here you can see one statement, two statement, three statement, right? And this is only one statement. So whenever like a one line statement, we can say in simple language, we can say this is the global statement. So whenever creating the library, so this is one liner statement. Here run is not required. Here multiple program, like multiple statement is not required for writing the program, okay? And I see like a next, uh, we can give the footnote and Title, these like a few uh, program, they are only global statement. So that will be one liner. Their run is not required for that. And it most of time it is like, a, not most of time, like always it is using outside of program. For example, this is one program. You can see multiple line I have written. Even if we we'll check the statement, this is a two statement. But here I have not written the run. I have not given the multiple um, statement. So whenever I'm writing the, uh, for example, I told you another example for global statement. So leave name is global statement. And title is, for, uh, title is uh, um, that global statement. Another is footnote is global statement. So many other also or global statement uh, we are using in SAS window. So that can be one liner here, run is not required. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma and uh, one, one more, uh, what is the DBM? Yes. Is that an abbreviation? DBM? This one, DBMS? Abbreviation, is that any full form for that? Database management, uh, database management system, full form is this. Any other question? Amit, I have done from my end. Okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, now uh, we are sharing, I'm sharing one uh, uh, presentation from our end uh, that is all about the, uh, uh, the, our course, which is about advanced SAS and uh, information about uh, uh, Global Pharma Academy. So just give me one minute.
प्लीज कंफर्म आर यू एबल टू सी द स्लाइड एवरीवन यस सर थैंक यू okay so this is the demo class on advanced sas this is organized by global pharma academy uh, so just uh, more information about the academy so we are from the global pharma academy which is iso and msme certified national level institute in the pharmaceutical and healthcare science which is established uh, with a proclaimed objective of becoming a center of excellence to guide student for building their career in the pharma sector so for that reason we have following courses which are certification courses uh, for three month duration first is pharmacovigilance is a year advanced sas as well clinical research medical uh, writing uh, retail pharmacy business management pharma marketing drug regulatory affair medical coding clinical data management then uh, this is uh, me the founder of global pharma academy uh, so my education is mpharm mba i have 30 plus year of experience in retail wholesale international export and also on the founder of malin medicon distributors and also a trader in retail wholesale business as you already know we have a youtube channel having 95000 subscribers so where i'll share the educational information here are the hr of our academy uh, she is a placement coordinator uh, she is engaging in sharing the uh, all the job opening information uh, help in the placement and skill development part to our students of every batch uh, she is a uh, snehal she is a business development executive she resolves general query of uh, students also engaging in daily assignment mock interviews and project work okay here are the contact number you can contact for the admission of any kind of the course and also here is mentioning the email id as well move to the next our image, mission and vision so so uh, with the goal of educate educating every aspirant who want to work in the pharmaceutical sector we offer education at most affordable prices in india our goal is to lead a pharmaceutical trading market on a global scale and india should grow into a country known for the innovation and quality so our vision is we want to be a first global platform platform where business executives may select the top personnel in the pharmaceutical sector to satisfy the most recent industry demands so the benefits of our courses so first benefits is our students are trained and nourished under excellent faculty having 15 plus year of industrial experience as well as academic excellence and here are the students are regular, rigorously trained to meet the industry requirements so we are building a syllabus according to the latest industry requirements so why us why you I, I can uh, learn from us or join our course so first is apart from domain knowledge we provide domain knowledge no doubt but apart from that we also provide assignments task resume preparation a uh, communication skill presentation skill which comes under the skill development part then mini projects as we are given mock interviews of individual students we prepare uh, so that they can, they are preparing individually as well personal development individual student analysis provide job assistance placement assistance we are providing at the end of the course conducting exams as well in between the course so that everyone can learn the sessions and revise themselves and update themselves and again also doubt clearing sessions we have if any doubt is there so about the sas okay so in our course this is the three month course we are announcing uh, for the sas uh, which covers base sas advanced sas in advanced sql macro and the clinical sas overview also included so if you wish to enroll for the course how to enroll actually i just before i need to tell the fees of the course it is a 25000 if you pay in the one time okay and if you pay in the installment it should be uh, 30000 15 plus 15 within a duration of one month and the course will uh, today is our first class so the next will be on the uh, coming saturday okay so if you wish to pay here you can pay online to the given number this is our official number 9423272876 after successful payment you can share your name email id location and qualification to same number 
then immediately you will get a seat confirmation and also you will add in the whatsapp group okay so this is the simple procedure and then after duration of the course see uh, the duration is 3 month saturday sunday course uh, classes are there mode is online platform is uh, uh, we are uh, uh, zoho or the skype okay either either of them then classes schedule is on the saturday and sunday time is 2 pm to 4 pm okay only saturday and sunday so here are our contact details like we have a youtube channel we have uh, uh, we are present on linkedin instagram wherever you want to ask you can ask about the query related to the course information uh, here is my contact number uh, here is hr uh, placement coordinator shubhangi he her contact number then sneel is there uh, for the placement like support like uh, yeah, for the admission you can contact her as well okay so this is all about the course information so today we are sharing that all information about the course okay and uh, again uh, also i hope you learn uh, most about uh, this demo class okay the presentation i hope you understood so now we will take this session to all you guys so you can ask the question uh, we are ready to answer okay yeah so uh, you can ask any kind of the question if you have, you can ask unmute yourself and ask Yeah, I mean, sir, uh, this uh, twenty-five thousand is for uh, this course only, right? Uh, for certification purpose, uh, will we need to pay? Yes, 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 yes. Certification is different part. Certification is the global certification provided by SAS Institute itself. So it is a different, but we prepare you for the certification also here. So uh, this is the learning. Okay, you will uh, get to know about the base, advanced, and overview of the clinical side. So this is for the course uh, fees. and the another certification is yes you can approach but this is different you have to pay again for the certification okay for certification uh, where will we have to apply for that are uh, you are asking certification fees no no uh, if we want to do certification uh, where will we have to apply that If you wish to do, uh, you are asking for base certification, right? Uh, base certification. Yes, yes, base certification. Okay. It's it's comp. When uh, it is not any schedule, you can uh, go to the authorized SAS center and you can give that uh, exam. Okay, so the fees, I think it is like, uh, it, according to Indian rupees, fifteen to sixteen thousand maybe. So in one uh, one time, you have to pay and give give the uh, exam. So that is the thing. Okay. I hope I get uh, recording daily recording will be get. Uh, in, in this course, we are not providing recording because it is technical. So it's uh, it we assume that you should present in the class, and uh, that is why uh, we are not uh, providing recording. But yes, if you have a session, any doubt and any, we can like uh, arrange the revision classes and doubt clearing sessions in between. So your active active participation is needed. yes any other question you can ask i hope you all know about the sas that uh, like uh, career opportunities in the sas and how like this is the uh, where it this uh, domain is uh, useful and everything i think if you don't have it you can ask and uh, related to the course also you can ask please so is this the first batch or previous was there any batch this is the third batch this is our third batch for first two batches are already there this the batches are all still going on first two batches uh, but yeah this is the third batch
see uh, most importantly whenever you want to do the career in the sas you must have the like hands on training on the sas because it is it is a domain where uh, theoretical is very less uh, and uh, because of that you need a proper guide proper training uh, for uh, the sas okay so uh, we are uh, we are preparing according to the updated uh, syllabus uh, yeah because the sas is again updated in uh, before uh so we are giving you the syllabus according to the latest industry requirements and uh, uh, our trainer ma'am has had some more uh, like a, a good experience and uh, uh, they will uh, guide you thoroughly properly and again like uh, doubt clearing sessions we have we have uh, assistance we are also providing like whenever there is an opportunity everywhere we are we also do skill development classes like how to how what are the companies who are apply who are there for this job and how to apply for that what kind of the interviews uh, preparation also we will do okay so like uh, we are preparing thoroughly to each and every candidate here so yeah that are the benefits Sir, will we get access to that class if we want to practice at home? Yeah, we are providing the raw data. Yeah, uh, Poonam, ma'am, can you share? Like, we are providing raw data in, uh, in this class. Uh, yes, for every uh, like a. Uh, where data is required for every session, we will provide you data and notes and also programming. All three we will provide every day, day one, day two, day three, like this way. Even that SAS software, we will get an access. Yes. That the access is for how many months? Means uh, after three months, will it get expired? Or no, no, it will work. Hello. Am I am I cleared your doubt? No, yes. I said okay. Any other question? Hi, ma'am. Hi, sir. Hi. Uh, I would like to ask what are the scopes and what are the salary expectations for freshers? Uh, hi. So for that salary, it is started with 2.5 to 6 lakh. I see why I'm telling the 6 lakh most of people are landing in this um, package. But yes, highest package is 8 lakh. If you're placed with Nova Nova, it is their fresh starting package is 8 lakh, but hardly people are placed in Nova Nova, it is right. So for that range, we can say this is 2.5 to uh, 6 lakh. Okay, thank you, ma'am. And I'm for a joining, and we need to have both the certification, SAS base and advanced, or only the base is enough. Uh, your voice is not clear. Can you repeat your question, please? For, uh, for joining industry, is it necessary to have both? Uh, base certification and advanced certification or only uh, base certification is enough. 
uh, only base certification is sufficient if you want to grow in industry. So advanced for that advanced, you have to be uh, with good knowledge of advances, but basis certification is sufficient. If you want to build your career, clinical, finance, and any field, base certification is sufficient. And for that base certification, uh, whatever we will explain it here, so that will be sufficient for certification. You can also ask question in chat box. We will share all the details of the course in the uh, group. Okay, so we, uh, I hope you all join our group of demo class. If you still have any query, you can ask. We are there to help you uh, for the all information related to the course. Okay, and if you still any question, you can ask. We will wait uh, for your questions. Okay, uh, so if you don't have any question, uh, we uh, conclude this class. And if you have any kind of the question raised after this as well, you can ask in group, you can call us, okay? We are there to help you. And I hope uh, this session will definitely helpful for all of you to get more insights about the SaaS domain itself, because it is a demanded domain, but because before everyone needs to know how it is and you need to have a learning, good learning. So this is the vision behind this demo class. So I wish thank you everyone to for who are joining for this class and uh, yeah, Poonam ma'am for your delivering a wonderful session. Yeah, uh, Chetan, uh, I, yeah, I, I understood, uh, but I am speaking very, uh, I mean, aapko usme bhi kuch query hogi to aap hindi mein bhi puch sakte. It's not like you are only asking uh, like English as well. If you have any question, you can ask here. Okay, sir. But uh, sir, I mean, the kids are not understanding English. Some of them are not understanding English. Okay, okay. See, uh, we are providing this recording to you. Okay, once it is live to you, you can go through it. After that, if you have any doubt in that, then so we will help you. Okay. So, like it is a new domain so definitely isme aapko query aa sakti hai i can understand but uh, we are trying our best ki aapko at least insight mile ki kya hota hai saas okay uh, uh, but yeah new terminologies hai iska isko humne uh, mostly cover kiya hai ki naya terminology jo aapko cover ho pae matlab ekdam hi naya hai to hum aapko bata chuke hai lekin fir bhi aapko doubt hai to you can ask after going through the recordings theek hai 
ओके सर सर इसमें सीडीएम के बारे में कब पता बताएंगे सीडीएम इज डिफरेंट सीडीएम एंड सैस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द क्लिनिकल रिसर्च लेकिन सीडीएम में सॉफ्टवेयर uh, भी अलग यूज होते हैं उसमें जो वर्क होता है वो भी अलग होता है वहां पे स्टार्टअप कंडक्ट एंड क्लोज आउट ये तीन फेजेस होते हैं उसमें uh, उसका जो डेटा है मतलब जो उस, उनका काम ये है कि क्लिनिकल डेटा जो होता है उनको पूरा वैलिडेट करना उनको एक रिलायबल फॉर्मेट में बना के सैस डिपार्टमेंट को वो फॉरवर्ड किया जाता है सैस रिकनसिलेशन एवरीथिंग पार्ट ऑफ द सैस ओनली ओके तो वो पूरा डोमेन अलग ही है सीडीएम अगर डेटा मैनेजमेंट के बारे में आपको जानना है तो यू कैन यू कैन आस्क अस ओके हम आपको उसका एक डेमो क्लास हुआ है वो आपको शेयर करेंगे वहाँ पे डिटेल दिए वी हैव अनादर कोर्स फॉर द डेटा मैनेजमेंट चेतन बहुत सारे लोग सी डी एम में भी प्लेस होते हैं जिन्होंने सैस किया है ठीक है सी डी एम बेसिकली क्या होता है क्लिनिकल डेटा मैनेजमेंट जहाँ पे लाइक जो भी डेटा जनरेट हो रहा है तो शुरू का काम सी डी एम करता है जब सी डी एम का काम कम्प्लीट हो जाता है उसके बाद वो सैस का काम होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको रॉ डेटा मिला तो रॉ डेटा की जो क्लीनिंग पार्ट होता है तो कभी कभी उसमें प्रोग्रामिंग भी बहुत सारी लगती है जैसे प्रॉक इम्पोर्ट है कि आपको डेटा डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट से मिला तो इम्पोर्ट कैसे करना डेटा क्लीन कैसे करना जब डेटा क्लीनिंग होने के बाद आपको सैस का बेसिकली आपको सारी प्रोग्रामिंग करनी होती है तो ऐसा नहीं है सी डी एम में प्रोग्रामिंग नहीं होती सी डी एम में प्रोग्रामिंग होती है सी डी एम में रेप करके एक सॉफ्टवेयर रहता है रेप कुछ नहीं डेटा एंट्री होती है ठीक है बट आपको फॉर्मेट दिया तो वही फॉर्मेट में आपको डेटा एंट्री करनी तो वो डेटा एंट्री करनी होती है उससे ऊपर का जो प्रोफाइल रहता है दैट इज सैस समझा आपको यस मैम so for everyone here if you have this question then i will repeat this answer uh, see uh, like whenever you have completed your sas course you will you can be placed in cdm team or you can be placed in this um, sas team once uh once uh, like uh, you will complete the like uh, this um, programming part okay so sometime what happen you are getting the clinical data from where like a uh, clinical trial data raw data raw data means directly you are getting the data from sites for for that like uh, you have to do data cleaning in cdm so once data cleaning part is done sometime they are writing the programming also in cdm so once that part is done and also data typing and all that post that they are sending to sas team their your role is to start so data already done uh, data cleaning already done by the cdm team post that you are working on that data so your profile will be sometime it can be few part will be similar or you will be above of cdm in term of package in term of uh, like uh, everything okay एनी अदर क्वेश्चन और कुछ करिए तो यू कैन आस्क प्लीज कोर्स डिटेल्स मैंने चैट बॉक्स में भी शेयर किए यू कैन चेक Okay, even we can share in our group as well. Okay, so uh, thank you everyone for joining. And uh, if you have question, you ask. Uh, we will take one more minute uh, for this. If you have any question, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll conclude the session, and uh, we'll share details. And uh, yeah. Uh, as i said earlier uh, you have our contact details and all uh, links 
whenever you are, you want to ask, you can ask us about the uh, SAS information about the course. Okay. Okay, so thank you all of you. Uh, I officially conclude this session. Okay, uh, and I, I wish you all the best, everyone, for your bright career. And yeah, thank you, Puno ma'am, for delivering this session. Thank you. Uh, have a good day ahead. Thank you. We conclude. You, everyone, can leave the class. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.